A month after releasing Good Notes 5.5, Good Notes just released another update, Good Notes 5.6. Let's find out what's new. You no longer need to tap the shapes tool to draw shapes in good notes. Just draw and hold exactly the same way you do in Notability. When we did our wish list for good notes, some of you wanted an iCode, a shapes tool like the one in Notability. That was highly specific, we thought. But hey, they delivered. You can even draw shapes with your highlighter tool now, something that was missing in good notes 5. Once you've drawn your shape, simply tap on it to select it and you can adjust how it looks. According to their release notes, continue holding down and drag your Apple Pencil across the screen to resize or rotate the shape. The resizing part is fairly simple, rotating however, not so much. We are still relying on the lasso tool to rotate our shapes in good notes. Support for curved lines. Say what? You can now draw curved lines in good notes. Arrows and curved lines, they go together. They're like a thing, they're mates. You can disable this draw and hold feature in the pen tool options. You can also turn off hold and snap and fill color for your pen tool. You can now draw perfect shapes with multiple strokes in good notes thanks to the snap to other strokes feature. If that is your preferred way of drawing shapes, you can now select and edit your shapes as a whole instead of selecting single lines. The application can also autofill the shapes you draw with multiple strokes. A round of applause for good notes. That is very impressive tap on a shape and move it around these updates to the shapes tool are great how many of you guys were tired of tapping the shapes tool in good notes for those of you that don't already know this good notes is not releasing a dedicated update for full ipad os 14 support in the application we wrote an article about that on the website and we will have a link to that article in the description down below the good notes developers have decided to give their text tool some much needed attention the text tool is good notes worst feature and we are glad they're doing something about it they have made styling options easier to access your fonts font size alignment colors text box styles and favorite text styles are now available on the toolbar how fantastic is that? This makes editing text in the application much easier. You can now double tap on a text box to start typing. And our keyboard now has a strike out feature and navigation arrows. The up and down arrows are missing. A bit late to introduce navigation arrows considering you can just use the iPad OS gesture to move your cursor around. GoodNotes has not been supporting custom fonts since iPadOS 14. They have fixed that in this update. If you are missing your custom fonts, they are back. Certainly worth celebrating, is it not? They have added line spacing adjustment for the text tool. And the app now has some preset text box styles. A simple tap on your text box will give you options to copy, delete, or edit. This will let you edit the text box without bringing up the keyboard. Very thoughtful of our developers. The keyboard can be a bit annoying, especially if all you want to do is just edit your text and not type any notes. Thank you for that. Even though you have presets, you can still customize the text box to look how you want it to. Now you can even have rounded corners if you don't like the sharp ones. And you can add shadows to your text boxes. The shadows look better on light paper, you know, shadows being dark and all. We're not going to mention any names, but one of us tried this shadows feature on dark paper. They've moved the save to default to a different icon that has a heart on it. We are certainly looking forward to having the ability to save multiple favorite text templates in GoodNotes. What are you excited about in this update? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you, fantastic person, for watching. See you in the next video.